Last week I showed you how to make fidget spinners out of gallium. And we looked at a number of different designs. Gallium turns from a solid into a liquid at about 30 degrees C. And today I'm going to destroy the spinners so we can see them melt. I'm going to start with this classic shaped spinner and I'm going to heat it up nice and quickly with this blowtorch. I angled it just right so I could hold one side safely and melt the other. And you can see as it turns into liquid and drips away. I had a bowl placed underneath to collect all the metal. And I've sped up this video so you can see what happens a bit quicker. And there goes our fidget spinner. For the next one I decided to take a couple of mugs, place a metal tray on top and slide some tea light candles underneath to heat it up. And I'm going to place on this 3 million subscriber edition spinner which I made last week. As the gallium heats up you can see it slowly starts to melt. It becomes molten but still holds its shape relatively well. I picked out the bearing and splashed around the gallium. And now it's all liquid, you can use it to make something else. Pretty cool, huh? For this dollar sign spinner, I took off the covers and removed the bearing. Then placed it on a clean tray. To melt this one, I'm using hot water from a kettle. And just pouring it over, you can see how quickly it melts it. This water was quite hot and it melts it straight away. And you can suck up the gallium in a syringe to use for something else. I got this large mould of a Lego style figure and thought it would be fun to fill it with gallium to see how it comes out. So I poured in some from the tray and also from the syringe. And we'll see how it turns out tomorrow when it's set. What is really cool though is playing back some of the videos in reverse. So instead of turning from a solid into a liquid, it looks like it's morphing from a liquid into a solid metal shape. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video 